All right, Luke, it's uh, time to turn you into a racing driver. Wow, that was a cold open. Yeah. <laughs> You've been too long. You've gotten too far in life without being a racing driver. It's time to turn you into one. OK. Show of the weekend, show of the weekend, show of the weekend, show of the weekend, show of the weekend. Would you like me to, uh, to yeah. teach you yes, all the ways of, yes. ways of racing? Yeah. Well, there's a whiteboard over there. OK. Use your long, extending arms. Aha, your the first test. <laughs> your Inspector Gadget-like <laughs> arms. So Here we go. Tell me, what's your, what's your understanding of, uh, of racing? What's required when you, are, when you go racing? Well, if you hit the accelerator just between the two and the one, you can expect a pretty sweet boost off the line. <laughs> OK, and if you get a red shell? It's better not to be in first position on the third lap. It's better to hang back in, like, fourth. And hope so, that you get something good. Yeah, to get a good item, because, like, you're going to get blue shelled, or the game's going to aggressively rubber band you if you're coming in on first on the third lap. How did I do, coach? <laughs> um, yeah. Well, uh, I you did well. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> um, you've been watching a bit of Formula One as well, right? Yes, that, yeah, yeah. I mean, right. I've watched every Formula One Grand Prix this year. That's impressive, yeah. Thanks, yeah. Uh, hey now, hey now. It's a mainstream sport that everyone loves, uh, sure. No, Mike, she's right. Um, uh, I was going to talk to you a bit about the, the racing line. You understand the concept of the racing line, right? Yeah. Right, so... Wait, sorry. No, no so I don't, I don't <laughs> need to go through this, said, No, I said yes, but I actually don't know. Let's draw... Uh, I'll apologise for my drawing, but... Let's draw a corner, He's right? He's drawing a Pierre Gasly. Oh, that's I draw, Shall I like draw it? a handsome Pierre Gasly? Yes, please. He's got a sort of pointy face, hasn't he? And like yeah, cool hair. Face. Does have cool And like hair. eyebrows and stuff. Yeah, sort of scruffy. Basically, entirely what that's... he looks like. <laughs> <laughs> he has a nose. He does. <laughs> you can't see it when he's got his helmet on, that's why. I that's, right. that's true. Yeah. Okay, so we've got a turn here. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Right, okay, so. A right turn. Correct. If we're coming from, Good start. from here. Yeah, we are. Don't worry. Left it's fine. I'm going to mark some mark some bits on here. Okay. So I'm going to say some things. And, okay, okay. And, and, yeah. and you've got to tell me which of these things are All right. uh, are the correct thing. And there's a thing here, and a thing here, and a thing here, and a thing here. Yeah, okay. correct. Okay. Exit point. Let's say exit point. Which one's the exit point? This one? Yeah. Because it's right. the exit. It's the yeah. last one. This is where you want to end up. Do you know what the apex is? Yes. What, where's no. the apex on this <laughs> stone? Stop saying yes. I, mean, no. um, I think it's this one because okay. I know that the apex is like the center of a turn. Right. Yeah. yeah. This is the yeah. apex. Mm. Right here. Okay. Yeah. I'll write it upside down. Does that look right? <laughs> it looks <laughs> like a pet. Draw an upside down cat for you. Yes, please. If you would. There he is. It looks <laughs> suspiciously like Pierre Gasly. Pierre <laughs> Gasly. Per Gasly. Gasly. There you go. Right. Uh, what about which one do you think is the breaking point? Oh, breaking point. Have you reached your breaking point yet, Luke? <laughs> I'm sure they actually explained this on Netflix's breaking point. It's the break drive to survive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> breaking point is the Formula One story mode, isn't it? Yeah. Where they did not explain anything. No, no. The breaking point. Least of all, why you ended up as. Spoilers, Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spoilers, a massive for, spoiler spoiler for, breaking for racing point. point. The racing point's the racing team. Breaking point. Breaking, <laughs> sorry, breaking point. And they're not called racing point no, anymore. They're called Aston Martin. They're Aston Martin. It's a really very simple sport. <laughs> <laughs> um, the breaking point, uh, I would say, is probably this one. That's the point where you, the point yes. you start breaking. Correct. People breaking. constantly spell it wrong. Do they? Yeah, they spell it like breaking a, a glass or something all the time. B R A K E. Yeah. Get it right. And then We're finally, all learning today. there's only one left. Me and you. And it is your turning point. Turning point. Well, that's turn that in one point. Yeah. Turn in. Oh, turn in point. It can be the turning point in your race if you get it wrong and drive straight on <laughs> yeah. into, into Pierre, Pierre Gasly. Gasly. No. <laughs> yeah. When you're racing in a racing game or in real life, mm -hmm. is you want to get your braking done, your stuff done in a straight line because you don't want to unsettle the car. If you turn and brake at the same time, because all the weight moves forward over the front wheels. Oh yeah. Okay. The back end gets all light and can start to rotate. So you, that's where you see people losing it on corner entry, yep. and the car's rotated, and they've gone and, whew, 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 and that's, up Gasly's nose. And that's oversteer. oversteer. Correct, because the car yeah. is steering too much. And oversteer is what car nerds call drifting. Drifting is oversteer, yes. Yeah, because drifting is cool, yep. but if you really like racing, you're like, 
Shouldn't really be doing that. Exactly, because it's slower. Because <laughs> it's slow. In most cases. The least no fun way around. around. <laughs> There's no drifting at all. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. So you've got all your braking so, yeah, done. Yeah, yeah. I apologise for the drawing, I'm doing this upside down, so uh -huh. the, the line's going to look awful. But your turning point, you want to come in mm -hmm. and turn the car, start rotating the car, and you're trying to hit the apex, right? The goal yeah. in a corner is to make it as flat as possible, right? So, flat. So, there's a turn there, which is slower than a straight. Yeah. What you're trying to do is make it as straight as possible. So you're Oh, so that you're turning as little as possible. Yeah, exactly. Because turning sucks. Yeah, exactly, because turning sucks and right. slows you down. So, so like if you if you do this, you can like start accelerating again here. Mm-hmm. As yeah. opposed to like if you came in on the inside, yeah. you'd have to slow down loads and do a big turn to get to the same point. Yeah, right? or if, if you were doing what I would assume you would do, which is this. Right down the middle, yeah. Then you, like, you you're can't doing, you're start accelerating more time until here. Exactly that. Right. You've worked it out, right. Okay. okay. A, late, okay. a later apex is better, basically. Even though, right. you know, you'd think the apex... So apex is where you touch, touch the, the inside the curve. Inside curve. Yeah. You can get on the power really early and you're in a big straight line, you're going Wah! really, really fast and your exit point's way over here. Yeah. That's Meanwhile, Max Verstappen is here like, what was that? Max Verstappen's spinning out. Whoa! And, and weirdly into Pierre Gasly again, who's just a giant face. Yeah. <laughs> a kind of giant Mufasa <laughs> style. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Everything the light touches. Benevolent spirit in the sky. Kingdom. I'll draw you another thing quickly All right. before we get onto the practical part of our test. Okay. Oh my god. Don't erase Pierre. I'm not going to erase Pierre or the cat. The cat so, represents Yuki Tsunoda. I'm going to draw something and I want you to be able to identify what it is, first of all. Okay. Do you know what type of corner that is? Are you, are you bend? Are you turn? No, you bend toilet. You turn. No. Circle, turn. All the way around. <laughs> Forward, then backwards. It's called a hairpin. Hairpin! Is that hairpin a hairpin? Turn. Yeah, hairpin turn. Because okay. it's shaped like a hairpin. With a hairpin, like... Well, how do you, yeah, how do you, how, how is this to be turned? So there's a couple of things you can do. Say you're at Brands Hatch, for example, famous yep. race circuit. There's a hairpin called Druids, right? There's a couple of line, like schools of thought. One of them is that you could have a completely, because it's a, a sort of perfect semicircle almost, mm -hmm. you could come in here and have a big arc that comes round yeah. And then hits the apex and then comes out like that. Okay. If you do this, would I be right in saying that at no point are you going straight? Exactly. There's so not a, a lot of straight going. So that's a weakness to it. Yes. There is an alternative line, yeah. which is that you sacrifice a little bit on your exit in order to give yourself a better okay. better exit. Mm -hmm. And you do a shape a bit more like this, where you come in a little bit deeper and slow down more and turn more, but then have a kind of like... Right, more right, like right. that. So that's shape. more straight. So yeah. you can be like properly gunning it here. Yeah. And if you really and, want, and here, you could come diving in very, very tight. Yep. And do what's called being it off, where you you you're going very slowly here, but then you're on the power very, very early as you as you come back out the, the corner. Yeah. What if you were coming in and someone and you were like almost alongside someone and they were doing that. Then you definitely want to be on the inside and you'd be definitely trying to get do a line like this. Okay. And you maybe be breaking it a little bit later you'd maybe even be happy to compromise your exit a little bit to get the space to force the other driver out wide here yeah so that you could nip by nice okay and i have overtaken someone at this corner at brand's hatch and I, did it feel great it felt amazing nice and you were there yes. you were there that day. did you do a slow-mo look at them as you went past like yeah like a luigi death stare yeah yeah that's optional but very satisfying optional, indeed but you, you've learned the basics right this yeah is, this yeah. is basically how you drive a, uh, yeah. a car apologies to the diagrams i've got but it. now it's time for the practical test we're going to go to silverstone racing circuit and teach you how to be a racing driver what holy crap amazing <laughs> Yeah, okay, Luke, so uh, Silverstone wasn't available within our budget, but we've got something even better. Oh! Chaos Karts, which is in uh, East London, near okay. Shoreditch. Um, and it's go-karting, but with augmented reality. Okay. So this is, should be a language you sort of understand, Mario Kart style, yes. weapons. Yes. Fire, right, okay. Yeah. So this is where we're going to teach you to drive. Okay. It, they project a circuit onto the sort of warehouse that it's based in, and uh -huh. then you can pick up power-ups and, and fire them at each other, and um, yeah. Perfect environment to learn how to drive. And you're sure that what I learn here will be applicable Absolutely. in the F1? This is exactly the stuff Lewis Hamilton does every single day. I'm right. Sure Do you think we'll see him in there? Maybe. I mean, I... I Can't make any promise. promises, viewers, but uh, keep an eye out for a certain someone. Lewis Hamilton. <laughs> 
Sir Lewis Hamilton. Oh, Sir Lewis. <laughs> oh, he probably won't show up now. Yeah. Sorry, um, he was going to do a cameo, but... And you've slighted him. Yeah, he said, he said if you don't say sir, He's deal's like, off. He was very, very strict I about I can hear that. him leaving now. Yeah. <laughs> there he is pulling up. That's the, he always screams that when he starts his car. This is primal scream therapy to get started for the race. Yeah, that's yeah, that's does, how yeah. he gets his focus in. Normally he's got a helmet on, so it's all muffled. Anyway, chaos carts. Yeah. Okay. Let's go and give it a go. Well, I was about to say it wasn't that fun, but then I saw Mike's face and I read I'm the room. Furious. Why? Absolutely furious. Why are you absolutely furious? It's got nothing to do with actual oh, racing. No. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with actual racing. But I will concede it was also kind of fun. It was cool, yeah. Also, Dicebreaker were there. You're a gamer. You're a gamer were there. Oh, I got hit by someone. <laughs> The bit where they first turn on the light, all the lights. I mean, it is a big, it's just a big shed, isn't it, basically? But once the lights come Basically, on, you're on a beach yeah. or in a desert or yeah. in space. Technologically, it's quite impressive. Like, your cart will react differently if you go over different bits of terrain. Mm. And obviously, the actual floor is exactly the same. Yeah. Just clearly, the cart knows where you're over a bit that's have got, like, sand projected on it. And so your and cart kind of slows down. Dug, 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 dug. At certain points, I didn't know why I'd slowed down. I think they've got, yeah. because they want it to be not too serious and, and for you not to have to wear a helmet and like a friction carting suit and all this stuff. Yeah. Um, Although you did wear a friction I mean, obviously suit. I did, yeah, because yeah. I take things seriously. <laughs> They have this collision like detection type thing and quite often I think when there's like a clump of carts you can end up going a little bit slowly but I guess yes, that's the price you pay for They sort of slow you down. When you get a boost it's it's pretty quick. Like Yeah, that's yeah, that's cool. You it's know, obviously they're... unlimiting the cart at yeah. that point, you know. Like, for a, for so, a yeah. brief period. For yeah. a brief period, yeah. Which just makes you think, oh, I know it could go faster. Yeah. They're not allowed to say it but it is basically Mario Kart, isn't it? That's certainly the vibe, yeah. I yeah. mean, you drive around a kind of wacky course and fire weapons and stuff at each other. Liv's hit an egg! <laughs> no, I hit Liv's egg! But it's cool to have like a screen on the car and the buttons. Yeah. You know, you're like activating and the, the weapons yourself. And those weapons are also projected in what I think yeah, is a very cool them. way. Like, especially like I had one that was, I'm sure it's got a fun name. But it was basically like a machine gun. Yeah. <laughs> it's like fire a machine gun out the front, and you can see the sort of bullets. And you're trying to steer them into tracing on yeah. the like sort of kind of tracing out in front of you, projected like. Tew, 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 tew. Mm. Neither of us did as well as Lowly's. Yeah, Lowly's and Ian Higton absolutely. If it had been a fastest demolished. lap thing, I think I would have had a good shot. But yeah. uh, it was absolutely well, racing is not really a factor in it at all. No. Well, that's the other thing, right? Because it's um it's it's not done on who finishes this race in first place mm. position like getting ahead of the other carts it's about like getting points and you get you get points by racing well and racing fast but also like you know landing good hits and which is why it's bull <laughs> 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 I tried to apply the lessons that you taught me mm -hmm. you, how did I mean, it go well, you were, I mean, you were there. How did you think, how did you think my racing was? Uh, it was fine. Yeah, I suspect. It was you, fine. <laughs> I suspect you could have been going a little quicker, but. Bye, <laughs> It was fine. Mike overtook me many times. <laughs> no. I overtook him once. That's, that'll be the you first line. You can take that, you can dine out on that. That'll be the first line of my opinion. It's fine, I've overtaken a, a former Formula One driver in a go-kart, and I dine out on that all the time. Yeah. So. So you if do. you've overtaken a Formula One driver, that means you're faster than I've Formula overtaken one. Mike. You're a Formula One driver. For me, yeah. Sign him up. Sign um, me up. Which team do you think would have me? Haas. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> God, I can't keep making Formula <laughs> Formula One in joke. So the goal is, like, over the course of a time, to score as many points as possible. Yeah. So it's actually more about being extremely vindictive and shooting your friends in the back with. Boxing gloves and hammers and yeah, yeah. eggs and yeah. all sorts of stuff like that. I think it's really interesting. Yeah. I think it needs a, a little, bit, little bit of refinement and tuning, like, en like any video game. Yeah. You know, uh, and it is technically a video game. It's just one that you're interacting with. Yeah, it's true. When in a go kart. What I would say, as someone who's done very, very little driving in the real world, that's not boring driving in a car. Yeah. In a very 
legally binding framework. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like driving on roads, it's not super fun. Yeah, full but of consequences, isn't it? It's for, oh man, it's like so many consequences, so, millions of consequences <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, I had, I really, really liked just driving the go kart. Mm. I liked it when it went fast. I like to go around the corners. Maybe you want to buy one of those expensive um, steering wheel steering wheels. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. This with, is good with, with force feedback. This is good. I can hook you up. It's something very different from from regular go karting. It's, a, it's got different objectives. Yeah. The speed is different. It is a more casual environment. I think if you're going there looking for like outright speed, yeah. like regular go karting is still what you're going to want. But this is more yeah. of a kind of yeah. multiplayer. The good thing is that it will throw up different sort of winners each time. Whereas if you go go-karting, there'll be your one friend, yeah. often it's me, who just goes very, It's very like going paintballing. Yeah. It's like, we're all here to have fun, ostensibly, and but someone's bought their own gas-powered ass like, assault, assault rifle. rifle from home. And yeah. it's like, oh. and they take it very seriously. They pin you down and yeah, like, just fire. Yeah, they paid extra for like a paint grenade or something. <laughs> <laughs> exactly that. So yeah, this is yeah. a bit more egalitarian. Yeah, yeah, There's more yeah. opportunity for yeah, people yeah. with, let's not say no driving talent, but um, I had a lot of fun. <laughs> Mike was annoyed. So I think from that, you can probably calibrate your own <laughs> how you will react. Yeah, and they could apply the technology on a grand scale to Formula One so that some yeah. of the Formula One circuits aren't just like a big flat bit car of concrete park, yeah. car park in the middle of a valley. Because the best races are the ones where they like, go through a town, right? Yeah, like Monaco. Like Monaco. Or, um, yeah, oh man. Ba Baku, that's right. Yeah, Baku, yeah. yeah, yeah. Man, that, man, that, now yeah. That's, Drive past that's a cool. castle that's like yeah. hundreds of years old. Drive past it carefully. Yeah, you slam into that. Because the castle. UNESCO <laughs> World Heritage Site. <laughs> <No>. Gasly! <laughs> well, thank you, Mike, for teaching me how to drive to that's survive. Fine. Reach my breaking point and Say get a seat at Racing Point, now known as Aston Martin. <laughs> That's a real smooth outro.